Hello everybody, this is Leslie and I am actually going to show you um, a couple candles that I purchased from Kohl's today. I had Kohl's cash, so I'm going to show you the couple of candles that I purchased. So stay tuned and I'll be right back. Kohl's cash and I had ten dollars so if you buy like Sonoma candles the full-size Sonoma, Sonoma candles you can get them for $9.99 I did go to my store they really didn't have a whole lot to be honest with you um, so instead what I did was I walked around I wanted to see what other candles they had other than because I always buy Yankee candles I wanted to see about trying to buy something else so, um, I did find a Woodwick, which I know is a subsidiary now of Yankee Candle, but this is a Woodwick, and it is called, it's three different fragrances all in one candle, so it's layered. So you have the Flickering Fireside, which is the top layer, which is that light gray right here. Then you have Poplar and pine that is the dark layer right there and then the bottom layer is all teak wood so this whole bottom and I'm sorry for the glare guys but this whole bottom gray area is the teak wood oh my gosh I opened the lid and I was like it's just absolutely amazing it's smoky it's it's woodsy it's it's just everything I love about candles and these are where my passions for making candles came from are these fragrances I mean it you smell you definitely smell the pine you definitely smell the teak wood you smell the pine more than you do anything else but like I said this is layered so the top layer is that fireside and I'll tell you it reminds me I don't know if anybody has been to Mohegan Sun in Connecticut but when you come through I think it's the winter the winter side um, they have all these incense and stuff it is exactly a dupe of the incense of what I smell when I walk into Mohegan Sun I absolutely adore that incense and that's exactly what this smells like now this is 10.5 10.5 ounces and it's 297.6 grams it originally costs if you can see it down below 22 22.99 and I was able to get it because all of these were um, on sale. I was able to get it for $14.99. They had bigger candles than this. They were, I don't, I didn't look to see what the size was, but they actually had a flickering, they have like a flickering fireside in one container, one large jar. I'm probably going to try and burn this tonight. Now, this also has their um, star woodwick that woodwick is known for so I like woodwicks so I I never have a problem with burning woodwicks actually one of the candles that I made way back when when I first started making candles um, this has a woodwick this is my my Binks candle and this is actually um, an apple ale mixed with other fragrances but it is really really pretty I really like this candle and I'm gonna try and burn this along with this candle so I'm curious to see how the two of them mix but I'm definitely going to try that this evening and I did also purchase I didn't get the big candles but I did buy the little ones I did buy it's um the Sonoma brand what size are they 
the old eyes can't see. I can't see the size. Sorry guys, I need a magnifying glass. But I bought this small pink velvet cupcake. And this one has the nicer top. Oh, sorry, there you go. See my <laughs> legs to my tripod. And it's pink. Needless to say, you can see it's pink. And it's your true vanilla bakery scent. It's really, really nice. And I love my bakery scent. So I bought the small candle. They were originally $11.99 and I was able to get it for, I think it was $5.99. And then I did buy the little one in the Sonoma Fresh Bamboo. So I had heard Shane talking about the the fresh bamboo, and I know he he mentioned about the uh, the cup the cup the cupcake one. I can't remember what the other one. I'm not sure if it was the mahogany one. I almost bought the mahogany one because that was really nice, but it was very um it was between the mahogany and it was behind or between this one. So I decided on this one because I really like the scent of this one. So I'm looking forward to bringing that one. But the fresh bamboo is really herbally. It has that herbal, very of the earth, like in, um, like after a rainstorm and you just, you get those I don't want to say bamboo because it's not bamboo. I don't know what bamboo really smells like, but but the green herbaceous smells of the forest, let's put it that way, or I should say maybe like the jungle. But it's very very nice. It's it's not overpowering. I'll have to see what it's like when I actually burn it. But if you like the um earthy types of candles, I really think this one might be one that you would really, really enjoy. I do like these because they are only one wick. One thing I don't like about Sonoma's larger candles, when they have the three wicks, their wicks are never placed properly. So to me, I've never really gotten a really good burn from the larger candles. That's why I tend to steer away from the large ones and I'll go towards the, the smaller ones. But I am going to burn these in the next week. So if I do, I will try and do a review on how they burn. But again, I bought the pink velvet cupcake and it's got a really, really pretty font and it's in gold and a very pretty picture of the cupcakes and a very pretty pink wax. And this one actually had the nice lid on it. Again, this was the Fresh Bamboo. And last but not least, this was the Woodwick with the fireside, with the crackling fireside, poplar and pine, and the teak wood, which is absolutely phenomenal. If you guys get the chance to go to Kohl's, I'm telling you, it, go to their Woodwick section. And if you see this, you really, really need to check this candle out. I, I can't say this any, any more than I, I think I may have to go back and buy more. But I'm in the process of moving, so I don't want to have too much to have to carry with me. So that's why a lot of these candles that I have now, I'm trying to burn them because I don't want to have to carry them when I'm moving. So, but I am going to uh, burn my apple ale candle, my Binks candle, which I absolutely love. And I'm hoping to eventually get back once I'm settled in New Jersey and in an apartment and have a new job. I'm hoping to eventually get back into my candle making. So fingers crossed that. I'll be able to afford to do that because I'm really looking forward to really working on my candles again. I actually really miss working on candles. So that was a quick little haul that I, I purchased with um, at Kohl's with my Kohl's cash. So I just wanted to really quickly check in and say hello to everybody and 
I'm still here. I haven't really moved anything yet because I haven't found a job yet. So I'm still in transition. So I will keep you all up to date how things are going. Um, and I will see about doing another keto video probably at the end of this week. So I'll probably be looking to do one around the 18th or the 19th of May. So stay tuned for that. I did purchase another shirt in another size down. I was now able to purchase a shirt in a 1X. So the scale may not be moving, but my body is. So if you haven't tried keto yet, I'm going to tell you to start doing a keto diet. If you've had problems with dieting in the past, you will not have any issues when it comes to keto. Once you get into and you get used to what you're supposed to eat and what you're not supposed to eat and it's just it just all falls into place and it just becomes very very easy to follow a ketogenic diet so i mean i can't speak any highly any more highly of it so all right but i'll save that for another video so take care everybody and i hope you're all doing well and happy mother's day to all the mothers out there i am a mother of as you can see uh, my little cats and heaven of course is underneath and shaking the tripod so i will see you all in my next video take care everybody bye